welcome to today's lecture where we shall continue with our topic division of a line segment a quick recap of what we did in the last lecture in the last lecture we considered the division of a line segment internally externally and at the middle or at the midpoint if you like and we said that if the point p x y divides a line segment internally then this will be the coordinates of x and y and if it divides externally this will be the coordinates of x and y and the last case we looked at in the last class was if the point p x y divides the line segment at the mid at the midpoint that this would be the coordinates of x and y so if you had if you have not watched the previous video please pause this video and go back to the first video on line segment to quickly refresh in your memory in today's lecture we would particularly solve one or two examples to illustrate how this formula can be applied so example one you say find the coordinates of the point which divides the line joining the points p1 with coordinates 2 comma 4 and p2 with coordinates 3 and minus 3 i internally externally and i i i at the midpoint in the ratio 2 is to 1 so we want to do this now the first thing we want to do is to write out what we have from this problem now the first thing we have here is we have the first point x1 y1 x2 y2 or that pairs so we have x1 as what 2 y1 y1 as what 4 x2 as 3 and of course y2 as what negative 3 what else do we have we have the ratio of division and if you recall in our previous lecture we call that ratio of division m1 is to m2 so here our m1 is the first number here 2 and our m2 is the second number here which is what 1 so with this we are set to apply the formula we derived in the last lecture so the first thing is internal division now if you recall for internal division we said the point pxy pxy had this coordinates mx2 plus and all this so we want to see we want to use this to get what x and y coordinates will be so we have that so this gives us p into m1 is 2 into x2 is 3 plus m2 is 1 into x1 is 2 all over m1 plus m2 m1 is 2 m2 is 1 2 plus 1 this will give us and then for the y coordinate we want to take them both at a time for the y coordinate we have here 2 into y2 is negative 3 plus m2 is 1 and y2 and Oh, this is y1 I beg your pardon and y1 is 4 y1 is 4 okay all over 2 plus 1 we work on this we're going to have that p is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 this is 6 plus 2 over 3 and this is negative 6 plus 4 over 3 and this gives us 6 plus 2 is 8 over 3 comma negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 over 3 so for internal division of the line segment so what we're saying is if we have this line segment here and this is points p1 and point p2 then the point here p that divides the line segment internally in the ratio 2 is to 1 is nothing but what 8 over 3 comma negative 2 over 3 now for external division for external division we have the formula here 
from the last class we had derived this already so we apply so this is equal to our m1 again is what m1 is 2 so this is p into m1 is 2 into x2 our x2 again is 3 minus m2 is 1 into x1 is 2 over m1 is 2 minus m2 is 1 and the y coordinate is m1 again is 2 y2 this time is negative 3 minus m2 is 1 m2 is 1 and y1 is 4 over 2 minus 1 so we work this out we have p into 2 times 3 is 6 minus 2 over 1 okay comma and this is negative 6 minus 4 over 1 and if we work this out carefully we have p into 6 minus 2 is 4 and negative 6 negative 4 is negative 10 so for external division we have the coordinates of the point to be 4 comma negative 10 the last part of it is the midpoint so if the point p is internal and in addition to being internal is the middle of the line segment then what will be the coordinates we have this so we have here p into x1 is 2 x2 is 3 all over 2 and the y coordinates is y1 is 4 plus y2 or y2 is negative 3 over 2 and this gives us p into 2 plus 3 is 5 over 2 comma 4 plus minus 3 is 1 over 2 and if the point that divides we have here p1 we have p2 we have a point here p so if the point p is at the midpoint then the coordinate of the point p is 5 over 2 comma 1 over 2 I hope you understand this example so you feel free to pause it and then um, go over it once again so we shall take another example for today the example says find the midpoint of the line segment joining the point a coordinates 2 3 and B has coordinates negative 4 and 2. Verify that the distance between point A and M is the same as the distance between point M and B. Wow. In this problem, distance is involved. So I would suggest that we have a rough sketch of what this looks like. Okay. So let us just have a sketch here. So we have our Cartesian plane here. It's just a rough sketch. So this is our origin, this is our positive values of x, our negative values of x, positive values of y, and our negative values of y down here. Good. So let us look at what let us see, check where the point A is located. A has coordinates 2, comma 3. 2 on the x. So this is 1, 2. And then 3 on the positive y axis. So this is say 1, 2, 3. So the point A is somewhere here. A is 2, comma 3. And the point B is negative 4 and 2. So negative 4, so this is negative 1, say negative 2, negative 3, say negative 4. Just a rough sketch. And 2, and 2, somewhere here. So the point B is here, negative 4 and 2. Okay, if we join these two points, wow, we get a straight line. So, the question is, find the midpoint, M, of this line segment. So, let's just call somewhere here. Let's just call somewhere here, the midpoint, M. Okay, that's the midpoint, M. The question is, we have to find the what? The coordinates of this midpoint. B has coordinates minus 4 and 2. A has coordinates 2 and 3. Question is, what is the coordinate of the midpoint? That is the meaning of the, of the question, of the first part of the problem. So, 
from what we had done last time okay we said that if m is the midpoint okay of the line segment okay here we are using p no problem the same thing it just changes p to m so we are saying that the, the, the coordinate of the point in this case point m x comma y is what x1 plus x2 over 2 then y1 plus y2 over what 2 so let us get our x1 and x2 first this is the first point and the second point so i want to call my x1 x1 to be 2 y1 to be 3 okay x2 to be negative 4 and then y2 to be what to be 2 then i'll come back to my formula and substitute the values all right so with this i have that the point i want to use m now m x comma y is what m into x1 plus x2 x1 is 2 x2 is negative 4 okay over 2 y1 is 3 y2 is 2 over 2 again this gives us m into 2 plus minus 4 is negative 2 over 2 that is negative 1 3 plus 2 is 5 so this is 5 over 2 what are we saying here so the midpoint of this line segment from a to b or from b to a as the case may be is what negative 1 5 over 2 okay so why b is this a is 2 over 3 is 2 and 3 the midpoint m is nothing but what negative 1 and then 5 over 2 and this answers the first part of the question that says find the midpoint of the line segment the second part of the question says verify that DAM, what is DAM? DAM means the distance between point, point, um, point A and M. Okay, point A and M is the same as the distance between point M and B. Okay, now we're talking about distance. So we must go back to our distance formula, which we had derived in our first lecture. So what did we say? We said, okay, the distance between, start with the first part, between point A and point m is what if you recall the square root of y2 minus y1 all squared plus x2 minus x1 all squared okay so this gives us what square root so we are, we are, we are dealing with points what point a and point m point a and point m so this i want to call here x1 y1 and then call point m x2 y2 hope you understand it doesn't matter you can call this point m x1 y1 and x2 y2 no problem i had explained earlier that with the presence of the square it doesn't really matter okay what which of the point you use as x1 and y1 okay so now y2 is the this is y2 so y2 is 5 over 2 5 over 2 minus y1 is 3 minus 3 okay all squared plus x2 x2 is negative 1 minus x1 is 2 all squared so if we simplify this further we are going to get that we have square root of negative 5 5 over 2 minus 3 gives us what that gives us um negative that gives us negative 1 over 2 you take the lcm there squared plus negative 1 negative 2 is negative 3 all squared i hope you understand you can pause the video and verify that this is nothing but negative 1 over 2 good so with this we have this gives us the square root of negative 1 over 2 all squared is 1 over 4 plus negative 3 squared is 9 okay nine now if you work on this again take lcm one more time and what you have in the square root gives you what lcm is four so that gives you one plus 36 okay and that is equal to the square root of 37 over four good now from your properties of sorts i can separate this and i will have the square root of 37 over two so this is the distance Okay, pardon. This is the distance 
DAM between point A and point M. So we have to now check also, calculate the distance between point M and point B and compare to check to see rather if it's the same. So we wish to call this distance here equation one. Okay. So, so the distance between point M and point B will give us square root again of y2 minus y1 plus x2 minus x1 of course all squared and what is what would that be square root of so we are dealing with point m and point b now so let this still be x2 y2 point b now becomes x1 and y1 okay so y2 is 5 over 2 5 over 2 minus y1 y1 is 2 all squared plus x2 x2 is negative 1 minus x1 x1 is negative 4 so that is plus 4 all squared very good so if we work this out we'll get square root of once again 5 over 2 minus 2 will give us what you take the LCM again is 2 okay LCM is 2 that will give us negative 1 over 2 again all squared plus negative 1 plus 4 is 3 so we have a 3 squared so that gives us square root of 1 over 4 plus 9 and if we work this out once again we have square root of 37 over 4 using our sort again this gives us the square root of 37 all over 2 i call this guy equation 2 now if you look at equation 1 we had the distance between a point A and M to be root 37 over 2. And now we have also that the distance between point M and point B is root 37 over 2. We now we'll we'll say therefore, therefore, the distance between point A and point M is indeed the same as the distance between point M and point B. And what does it really tell you? And why should, why should this be true? This is true because the point M that divides the line segment AB is actually the midpoint of the line segment. If you like this video, please hit on the like button. Don't fail to share this video with your friends. And please do not also fail to hit on the subscribe button. Thank you. See you in the next lecture.